Well, it seems as though we are really witnessing the downfall of the MCU. I don't know why the downfall is taking so long, but we're getting there. We're, we're not far away from just this entire franchise falling off. And why is that? Why is it people are losing interest? Maybe it has something to do with they're all made the same. They are all terrible, written terrible. They look terrible. It is nothing more than sludge. That's all there is to it. And we're starting to see that in terms of the box office, just gradually, the money just start to fall off. It is not what it what it once was. That's very obvious to most of us. But our most recent escapade was Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. It was sludge. Again, terrible. Nothing good about it. No soul, no heart, no effort, no nothing. Just just more sludge added on, on all the other sludge. Nothing new about it, nothing different about it, just the same old sludge. And we're starting to see with this film that people really are losing interest. Because if you look at what they've done on their weekend box office performance, 105 million. That's, that's all they've managed to do with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. It's not really surprising. The Ant-Man and the Wasp films haven't done that well. But this doesn't doesn't really look good. And if you actually go through, because I think it's worth looking at, at how how slowly you just see the decline in the money coming into it. We of course had Black Widow. Yes, part of that was down to down to the fact that it was also on streaming. But that had eighty million. You then had Shang Chi uh, that broke even. But that's that's not what Disney is looking for. They don't make these movies to break even. They make this, these movies to hit a billion dollars. Whereas you had Shang-Chi in its first first weekend box office, 75 million. You had The Eternals, which was a massive flop, which was 71 million. And then you get to Spider-Man Spider No Way Home. And there's a there's a reason why, we all know why that done so well. But the difference here is that, that was actually a decent movie. You know, there were plot problems. But the character work was was really good, and that's what sold people on it. The word of mouth went out there, and it, and it made made a load of money. And the thing I find funny about No Way Home is it's a Sony movie, so Disney makes very little off that. So I do get a bit of enjoyment out of that. But if you just look at the what that done in its first week, two hundred and sixty million, two hundred and sixty million. You go to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. We know why this done a lot better than it should have. Easily the, the worst Marvel movie ever made. Ever made. One of the worst movies ever made. Uh, you know, just leaving out that. But that done 187, 187 million in its first week. And we know why that made money. That's because people came off of No Way Home expecting, oh, maybe Marvel are back on course now. Maybe they're actually going to do something good. So that's why we go into Multiverse of Madness and that done as well as it did. Did not deserve it in the slightest. You then go on to For Love and Thunder and then this is when you start to see the decline. Uh, as that, that 144 million, you go to Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Now that done a little better. You know, was it down to the Chadwick Boseman stuff? Maybe. But that done 181 million and then you get to Ant-Man and the Wasp and it's just straight down. Straight down. It is, it's not looking good. We're witnessing it in real time, the, the MCU's downfall. And and I mean, that, that's what you get. I mean, you get what you deserve. If they're not willing to actually put effort in and make good movies, it's like, yeah, you, des you deserve to fail. That, that's just what, what has to happen. And I think we're, we're starting to see it. Uh, I think, I reckon, my prediction is we may see a spike with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 which I'm I'm kind of more on, I think that might be good. That has a chance, at least. Then after that, that that's going to be the last good MCU movie. After that, we've got nothing. Guardians of the Galaxy started in Phase 3. That's when that started getting, getting made. So, you know, it's not stuck in that Phase 4 bubble. So that's, that's what I think we're going to see, is you get a spike in terms of the box office for that. And then what have we got? We've got the Marvels. How, how well do we think that's going to do? It's going to be it's going to do a whole lot worse than Ant-Man and the Wasp. I think that's obvious. 
Uh, that one has been pushed back. They get, we're getting all these delays. Uh, the Marvels has been pushed back to November now. Not the first time it's been pushed back. That must really be an embarrassment of a film. We all know what it's going to be. And I reckon we're all excited for it. And then you go further down the line. You may have films like Blade. Again, we don't really know what's happening with that. Director left. The, the actor slagged it off for being just outright terrible. You then have, you know, I'm honestly forgetting at this point because there's that many of them. So I think by the time we get to Fantastic Four, we'll be done by then, I reckon. I don't see it lasting much longer just looking at the releases that are already slated. It's not looking good. Uh, and again, we went over the reason. These films are fucking shite. Utter garbage. There is no, no other way to put it. That's just what they are. They all just CGI sludge, you know, there's no soul in them, there's no heart, there's no passion. Uh, there's probably a reason for that, because they don't hire people with passion for some reason. You know, a lot of this comes down to, they don't hire people that give a shit, they don't hire people with talent. So we, we this is a situation we get is, you know, it's not doing well for Ant-Man and the Wasp. We've went over all the all the other movies that have came out. During Phase 4 as well, they didn't do too well. Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, that's the only reason that made money. And then it just gradually declines to 100, 105 million on its opening weekend. It's it's not looking good, so it's not very long till, till Marvel hopefully disappears if they're not willing to put in any effort whatsoever. 